I'm like, hey, 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 hey. I'm like a German gone wild. Do a German gone wild? That sounds, it sounds like a German song. Heil. German gone heil. Oh my god, 50 cents off a coupon for sweet tea at so insane. I'm so tired. So, hi. How are you doing? Doing good? Yeah? Yeah? So super. So. Are you recording? Yes. No. Not you. Because of that. So. What's Jim Blair? I feel like that'd be inside of like a mule's carcass, you know? Right? Like. Something you'd see in a picture book written by Madonna. Madonna. I don't know really what's wrong with Billy, but he's not doing too well at school. Don't do it too well at school. Oh, guess what? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <coughs> Did you read the part where um, Michael Mack friend requested me? No. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, it's like a serial killer comedian. <laughs> no, I uh, I like this Facebook page and I made a comment. I said the other night, I said, I said that his show was good last night. I enjoyed it. It was very entertaining. And he wrote back, thank you, Carol. I'm glad you liked it. And then I get a friend request from him today. I was like, oh, cool. I'm friends with Michael, Michael Mack. Okay, I'm done. I miss you, miss you like every day. Oh, no, I will. So, <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. I'm not really, like, hungry right at the moment. But, like, you know, maybe, like, a few, a few hours. A few hours will be fine. Need, like, some <laughs> liquid, like, like a sweet tea or something. Mm-hmm. I was smelling the magazine. It's not right, you know. Covered up my Nah. Not right. Ah. Oh. You know, like, um, it's so serious. So, so serious. Every day. <sighs> Ev okay. <laughs> I can't do it. Every day. There's always someone who calls it. It's like, I... Just don't have my account number. And I'm like, oh, we should get that. Oh my god, it's so totally get that. Because I can't get into your account without it, you know? I mean, am I right? Am I right? No? <laughs> Sitting like this for too long, my elbows hurt. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know to make a joke about Paris <laughs> So there's uh, So there's been a lot of talk about it, and um. I'd like to know what you would do if uh, you were a boy, even just for one day. So this person called in. She's like, "Hello, how do I have a tank of fun now tomorrow? Me, me, no." I'm like, what are you? I don't. I'm sorry. Do you need something? Me, just follow me. Me, go follow me, follow me, no. Me, no, no, mom, me. Me, no, four, number five, seven, twenty four, nine three. Ah. And you know you're always supposed to say, you know, supposed to agree with the customer because the customer's always right and I'm just like agreeing, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Me, you won't. You could be saying anything. Kill your family. Yeah, I agree. It really comes, really comes down to it. It's all about perception. Because when you have the proper perception, that's when you can truly have, like, a vision of the day. <laughs> Fair shot. If you guys can have that. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of times when I'm teaching my Sunday school class, there is a lot, 
a lot of children that have no idea how would you fit so many animals on a giant cruise ship. And I tell the students, I say, well, snakes aren't that big. And if you really think about it, uh, what they called? Just take two tadpoles and you're set, right? You're set. And then there are some animals we just don't need, right? Like my ex-girlfriend. But anyways, so it's all about perception. Perception of your possibilities and an inordinate amount of Coca-Cola because who shouldn't be without a Coca-Cola? A delicious Coca-Cola. Who shouldn't be without it? That's what she said. <laughs> oh, it's gross because you're my mom and you've done that. Should I delete that from this? No. I'm gonna polish the table. Won't read a storybook fable. I'll walk around my neighborhood aimlessly. I should. I have gas in my butt. And I. Don't know how to rhyme that next spot without being inappropriate. Oh my gosh, I just did it without being inappropriate. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. So. Oh. Hey, look, I look like Brad Pitt. Yo, yeah, I'm married to Angelina Jolie. Hold on, hold on. Angelina Jolie is my wife. I left Jennifer Aniston because she was boring. <laughs> I'm Brad Pitt. So, Mom, tell me about uh, your uh, glory days. <laughs> right? I'll go there. Ha. What? Ha. <laughs> what are we talking Uh, Sir Crazy. Super. Do. Uh, food? Yeah, let's do some of that. You know, lots of times people go through some stuff and then they come out of it. So, just know, I'm watching you. Um. What? Oh, it's the time? Okay. You know, I think there's just an age when we should start putting people down, like, I think 50. You know, it's like, once they have to take the teeth out to put the dentures in, it's like, I think that's it. You know, because 80, it's like, get out from behind the wheel, sir. You don't even know where you're going. Get back on the trolley. Get on the trolley. Chicane on the trolley. Oh, the movie's going to start. Oh, hi. Thank you for calling to tell me how I help you today. That sounds awful. I would love to assist you today. I just need your GTE account number. You don't have it? Oh, that's fine. Just let me bend over backwards and you somehow get into your account. Ah, ah, and you need to write your address? 